electric dipole electric dipole in a non uniform electric field electric dipole in a non uniform non uniform electric field electric dipole in a non uniform electric field we can draw a diagram of dipole in a non uniform electric field this is the direction of non uniform electric field this is the direction of non uniform electric field non uniform electric field an electric dipole ab is placed at an angle theta with the direction of non uniform electric field so this electric dipole contains minus q and plus q charge the dipole ab contains minus q and plus q charge and uh, on the positive charge or that means on plus q charge electric field intensity will be e1 e1 is the electric field intensity which is acting on plus q charge similarly electric field intensity acting on minus q charge of the dipole ab is e2 e2 is the electric field intensity which is acting on minus q charge at the point a of the dipole and in this case e1 is greater than e2 that means field intensity acting on plus q charge is greater than the electric field intensity acting on minus q charge the dipole ab is held at an angle theta with the direction of non uniform electric field the dipole ab will have clockwise rotation under the action of torque and uh, the dipole will be uh, linearly displaced or the dipole will have translational motion under the action of net force acting on the dipole that means uh, net force and torque will be acting on the dipole when an electric dipole ab is held when an electric dipole ab is placed at an angle with the direction of non uniform electric field with the direction of non uniform electric field with the direction of non uniform electric field under bracket increasing electric field such that increasing electric field such that e1 is greater than e2 where e1 and e2 where e1 and e2 are the electric field intensities acting at the point b and a are the electric field intensities acting on the plus q and minus q charge of the dipole that means this field intensities are acting at the points b and a not a and b comma some net force some net force under bracket f equal f1 minus f2 equal q, q bracket open e1 minus e2 and net torque net torque tau equal vector p cross vector e act on the dipole that means uh, when an electric dipole is held in a non uniform electric field uh, force and torque both will be acting and here if one and if two are the electrostatic force experienced by plus q charge and minus q charge when an electric dipole ab is placed at an angle with the direction of non uniform electric field under bracket increasing electric field such that e1 is greater than e2 where e1 e2 are the electric field intensities at the points a and b it should be uh, field intensities at the point b and a some net force and net torque uh, act on the dipole that means there will be net force and torque which will be acting on the dipole as a result as a result the dipole as a result the dipole will have the translational motion as well as the rotational motion as a result the dipole will have the translational motion or linear motion under the action of net force uh, as well as 
rotational motion under the action of uh, the torque tau. As a result, the dipole will have translational motion and as well as uh, the rotational motion. And also, if we draw the diagram, here the dipole in the increasing electric field uh, will have linear motion and as well as rotational motion. The dipole rotates and it will be linearly displaced as shown in the figure. That means uh, the dipole in this uh, non-uniform electric field, in this non-uniform electric field means increasing electric field will move linearly and also rotate about its own axis in this non-uniform electric field. Here the dipole moves in forward direction and also it rotates in this uh, non-uniform electric field, non-uniform electric field. In this case the dipole will have the translational motion towards right and the dipole rotates clockwise under the action of torque and the dipole will have translational motion uh, due to the net force acting on the dipole. The net force acting on the dipole in this non-uniform electric field acting on the dipole in the non-uniform electric field non-uniform electric field is uh, given by a net force acting on the dipole in the non-uniform electric field non-uniform electric field E equal E1 minus E2 is given by is given by vector F equal vector f equal minus del u where u is the potential energy of the dipole minus vector p dot vector e uh, vector p is the dipole moment vector which acts from minus q to plus q charge which acts in this direction that is from minus q to plus q charge of the dipole that means u equal minus vector p dot vector e which is the potential energy of the dipole in this non-uniform electric field u equal minus vector p dot vector e is a potential energy of the dipole potential energy of the dipole under bracket AB in non-uniform electric field. In this case, this non-uniform electric field is actually increasing electric field. Non-uniform electric field under bracket vector E equal minus ve vector E equal vector E1 minus vector E2. Where del or nebula equal del del x i cap plus del del y j cap plus del del z k cap which is a vector differential in three dimensional variation of electric field which is a vector differential operator which is a vector differential operator in the three dimensional variation of uh, the electric field or the non-uniform electric field del or nebula is a vector differential operator in three dimensional in three dimensional variation of the electric field of the electric field del or nebula is a vector differential therefore vector f which is electrostatic force is equal del or nebula u vector f equal minus del u or comma vector f equal minus del under back and minus vector p dot vector e where vector p is the dipole moment of the electric dipole a b in non-uniform electric field or vector f equal minus del del x i cap plus del del y j cap plus del del 
z k cap bracket closed under bracket uh, vec minus vector p dot vector e or comma vector f equal vector p dot under bracket vector p dot under bracket del del x i cap uh, del del x vector e dot i cap plus del del y under bracket vector e dot j cap plus del del z vector e dot k cap bracket closed where vector p is uh, the dipole moment uh, vector which is constant and uh, we get the expression of force so this is the expression of electrostatic force acting on the electric dipole ab uh, so vector f equal minus del uh, minus del under bracket minus vector p dot e which is the net force acting on the dipole in a non uniform electric field so net force acting on the dipole in a non uniform electric field is vector f equal minus del under bracket minus vector p dot vector e therefore vector f equal minus del therefore vector f equal minus del u where u is the potential energy of the dipole now f1 in the diagram f1 equal q u1 which is the electrostatic force experienced by plus q point charge of the dipole ab f1 equal q u1 which is the electrostatic force which is the electrostatic force electrostatic force which is the electrostatic force on plus q point charge of the dipole ab in uh, the increasing electric field such that electric field intensity at b e1 is greater than the electric field intensity at a e2 similarly vector f1 equal plus q e1 where vector f1 equal uh, vector f1 is parallel to vector e1 again f2 equal q e2 which is uh, the electrostatic electrostatic force on minus q charge of the dipole at a f2 equal q e2 which is the electrostatic force experienced by minus q charge of the dipole at the point a therefore vector f2 equal minus q vector e2 where the force vector f2 is anti parallel to the direction of anti parallel to the direction of vector e2 anti parallel to the direction of vector e2 so vector f1 is parallel to the field intensity vector e1 at b and vector f2 is anti parallel to the field intensity vector e2 at the point a vector f2 is anti parallel that means force experienced by uh, the point charge or minus q point charge at the point a is uh, act, is acting in the opposite direction with respect to the electric field intensity e2 at the point a of the dipole vector f2 acts in the opposite direction of vector e2 therefore resultant force so we we get the two forces vector f1 and vector f2 and they are not equal in magnitude therefore so the net force acting on the dipole ab in the non uniform increasing electric field is vector f equal vector f1 minus vector f2 f equal in scalar form f equal f1 minus f2 as f1 is greater than f2 Uh, therefore net force acting on the dipole is f equal q under bracket e1 minus e2 therefore f equal q delta e where delta e equal e1 minus e2 which is uh, the difference in electric field intensity between the two points b and a field intensity at b which is e1 is greater than the field intensity at a that is e2 delta e is the difference in electric field intensities difference in electric electric field intensity at uh, the points 
B and A, not A and B. It should be at the points B and A. Fill intensity at uh, B is greater than the fill intensity at A in uh, the non-uniform electric field. Non-uniform electric field. Now, now uh, delta X is a linear distance between minus Q and plus Q charge of the dipole or delta X is the length of uh, the electric dipole AB. Delta X is the length of the electric dipole AB. Now F equal Q delta X delta E by delta X where delta X is where delta X is the linear distance delta x is the linear distance between plus q and minus q charge of the dipole plus q and minus q charge of the dipole so we you can consider the diagram again delta x is the linear distance between a and uh, b or uh, length of the dipole ab so f equal p delta e by delta x f equal p delta E by delta X. This is another expression of net force acting on the dipole AB in the non-uniform electric field. F equal P delta E by delta X which is the net force acting on the dipole in the non-uniform electric field. Non-uniform electric field where P equal Q into delta X product of charge and length of the dipole. P equal Q delta X which is the dipole moment of the dipole AB, dipole moment of the dipole AB. Therefore, vector F equal vector P dot delta vector E by delta X. Vector F equal vector P dot delta E by delta X. So, which is uh, which can be written as vector F equal vector P dot delta uh, vector p dot delta vector e therefore vector f equal vector p dot del 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 x vector e dot i cap plus del del y vector e dot j cap plus del del z vector e dot k cap in differential variation, in differential variation, uh, in three-dimensional variation of the field, vector F equal vector P dot del vector E. Additional information. In the diagram, uh, AB is an electric dipole in non-uniform electric field. An electric dipole in non-uniform electric field so uh, what will be the net force and torque acting on an electric dipole in non-uniform electric field when an electric dipole is held is held is held in a non-uniform electric field when an electric dipole is held in a non-uniform electric field at an angle non-uniform electric field at an angle the dipole will experience the dipole will experience a net force and a torque also and this dipole and this dipole will have rotational motion as well as linear motion. That means as a result as net force and net torque act on the dipole. So as a result there will be translational motion of the dipole in non-uniform electric field as well as the rotational motion of the dipole. 
there will be a translation and motion under the action of the net force the dipole rotates clockwise uh, as according to the diagram the dipole rotates clockwise under the action of torque dipole will have rotational motion clockwise under the action of torque and the dipole will be linearly displaced that means it will have translational motion towards right under the action of net force acting on the dipole in non-uniform electric field number two case is what number two this is the direction of electric field intensity which is acting towards right and uh, we can denote uh, the direction of axis so we can uh, denote the axis of the dipole which is placed in the same direction of electric field intensity a b is the dipole which is uh, in the same direction of electric field intensity u1 is the field intensity at the point b e2 is the field intensity at the point a and e1 is greater than e2 so that means uh, and f1 is a force experienced by plus q charge and f2 is the electrostatic force uh, experienced by minus q charge of the dipole when an electric dipole when an electric dipole ab is placed when an electric dipole ab is held in a non uniform electric field is held in in a non uniform electric field such that such that the dipole is set the dipole is set such that the dipole is set parallel to the electric field comma the torque tau becomes zero as the dipole is set parallel to the electric field but net force vector f equal vector f1 minus vector f2 persist but net force vector f equal vector f1 minus vector f2 persist vector f equal vector f1 minus vector f2 will be acting towards right uh, because e1 is greater than e2 and f1 is greater than f2 but torque uh, no torque will act that means tau equal to zero hence hence the dipole hence the dipole will not rotate as an no torque act on the dipole the dipole will not rotate as no torque acts on the dipole no torque acts on the dipole or acts uh, on it but it will have translational motion it will have the translational motion translation and motion under the action of the net force under the action of the net force under the action of the net force vector f equal vector f1 minus vector f2 where vector f1 is the greater force experienced by plus q charge